The Financial Secretary for the Hong Kong SAR government, Mr. Paul Chen, has delivered his 2018-19 budget speech. Against a backdrop of massive financial surplus and volatile macroeconomic climate, Mr. Chen announced a wide range of measures designated to enhance Hong Kong's competitive edge and economic sustainability. It also addressed a number of calls from the broader community. The 2018-19 budget has been built based on three key priorities – diversified economy, investing for the future, and caring and sharing. The government will strive to put in more investments in innovation and technology development and strengthening the competitiveness in Hong Kong's pillar industries and assisting small and medium-sized enterprises. More resources will also be spent in manpower training, continuous education, healthcare, and increasing support to the elderly and underprivileged. The Financial Secretary has just announced that the government will generate a surplus of 138 billion for 2017 and 2018. It is a record high over the past 10 years. It is because of the booming of the property market and share market. The revenue from land sales may reach the level of 117 billion, which is 60% more than the original estimate. Regarding the stamp duty revenue, it has been increased by 40 billion compared with the original estimate. But the government should still stay alert because the revenue from land sales and stamp duties has contributed more than 40% of the total revenue. Those revenue are easily affected by the worldwide economy. So it is better for the government to conduct some kind of consultations on how to broaden this tax base so as to ensure that we have enough recurring revenue to finance the increasing expenditure. On the individual side, the ceiling for 2017 and 18 salary tax refund will be raised from 20000 to 30000 A number of personal allowances and deductions will be increased for 2018 and 2019. That includes basics and additional child allowances, dependent parent or grandparent allowances, additional dependent parent or grandparent allowance, the ceiling for elderly residential care expenses. Additionally, a new personal disability allowance of 75000 will be introduced. The 201H and 19 progressive rate calculations will also be updated with an additional test band, and each test band will be increased to 50,000. Test payers who are on progressive rates will be expected to pay less tests. Irrespective, this year budget is prepared on the usual prudent and cautious approach. It nevertheless introduced more focused and diverse initiatives to stimulate the business sector with a view to maintaining the long-term prosperity of Hong Kong. More importantly, it shows the government's willingness to make use of the substantial accumulated surplus in a wiser and more generous way, in order to benefit people at different classes. We welcome these measures and the government's visionary strategy and efforts in building a better economic and living environment of Hong Kong.